I am Dana Malcolm. This is your Top Stories Morning Edition for October 27th, 2023. Coming up, the news that matters most. There's an opening right now at Provo Air Center looking for an accounts clerk. Provo Air Center needs a motivated self-starter and team player to support the in-house accounting department. The ideal candidate will have bookkeeping or accounting experience with an understanding of AP, AR, Excel, and QuickBooks. This is an exciting opportunity to work with a great team and have lots of room to grow. Send your CV to Debbie at ProvoAirCenter.com. That's D-E-B-B-Y at ProvoAirCenter.com. Hiring now. After struggling for years with an outdated ordinance, taxi drivers in Providenciales turned out in the hundreds to meet with the government, hoping to get their concerns heard. Instead, they were told under the Tides program they would now be required to retake oral tests they had already passed in a new written format, and without a passing grade, their licenses and livelihoods are in jeopardy. Those speaking to us say they believe biannual refresher courses are sufficient, rather than the new test rule which, they point out, aims to awkwardly and unfairly requalify them for a career they've had for many years. There's significant frustration among the professionals who fear it will disenfranchise many drivers, all of whom are locals. Home Affairs Minister Otis Morris is calling on residents and the government to work together to build a world where older people can age with dignity and health. Speaking on the International Day of the Older Person on October 1st, he described them as the guardians of our heritage. A leaked video implicated in the killing of Jumilo Isma has reportedly led to threats against an airport worker. It's more evidence of the retaliatory nature of local gangsters. Isma was captured on camera at the Providenciales International Airport by an unknown photographer entering a vehicle. Shortly after, he was shot and killed near the airport. A leaked letter seen by our news team claims the police are now involved with the incident, in which the worker has repeatedly claimed their innocence. The letter claims that the police have verified the individual was not involved and that they have another suspect. We have reached out to the force for more information. Magnetic Media is your news leader. There is always a savings and a smile in every aisle at Sunny Foods. With locations near you, you can shop wholesale or retail for groceries and other essentials for your home or your business. Visit Sunny Foods in Five Keys. Sunny Foods now with the Blue Hills Roundabout. Sunny Foods in Grand Turk has two locations in West Road and Back Salina. Sunny says no one beats his prices. No one. 22-year-old Keneal Duverville will spend the next seven years in prison, having been convicted of firearm offenses. He was tried in the Grand Turk Supreme Court following his arrest as a person of interest in the case of Eder Etienne, who went missing and was then found in a shallow grave. Police found two guns, a Glock and a carbine pistol, plus ammunition, while searching Keneal's home and a car in his possession. To heighten awareness of breast cancer and to continue spreading the importance of early breast cancer detection, the National Cancer Society will be having its yearly breast cancer awareness luncheon. The event is set for this Saturday, October 28th at Beaches Resort, starting at 1 p.m. The Power of Attraction. Magnetic Media. Everyone can now pay online with the National Health Insurance Board. Employers, self-employed, students, voluntary contributors, or even pensioners making contributions for their dependents. Simply visit nhip.tc, register for the e-services, submit your calculator, and pay directly through our e-services portal. Payments are easier with the National Health Insurance Board. Building a healthy nation, one person at a time. The government is aware of the challenges faced by Providenciales residents on the roads and has plans to fix it. So says Premier Washington Mizek. The lifespan of the Leeward Highway is coming to its useful end. And so we are looking at how we could redevelop that. He also revealed that the high cost of security had taken a chunk out of the cash that could have been used for roadway upgrades. Several illegal migrants have been sentenced to prison time amid warnings from Chief Magistrate Jolyon Hatman that sentences for the repeated offenses could last up to two years. 25-year-old Victor Rudolph got eight months imprisonment on his fourth time illegally entering the country in three years. He had a different name for each time he was captured by immigration officials. 
35-year-old Renand Louis got five months imprisonment. He accepted this was his third time entering illegally. More from those cases coming up in later newscasts. In weather both today and tonight, it will be partly cloudy with a slight chance of scattered showers. Chance of rain is 20% and the TCI Met Service says small craft should stay in port due to hazardous conditions on the seas. I am Dana Malcolm. Thank you for joining us. Top Stories in 5 is a Magnetic Media production.